Hello everyone, welcome to MSFT webcast. In this video, we are going to see the steps on how to configure local device security options using Microsoft Intune. We will use Endpoint Protection Template in Device Configuration Profile to configure local security options for Intune Manage Windows devices. Those settings are related to accounts, interactive logon, network security, recovery console, shutdown, and user account control. Local device security options are basically like the local security policy from group policy. We can configure the same settings from the Intune using device configuration profile. Sign in to the Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center as a global administrator or an Intune service administrator. We can access Microsoft Endpoint Manager using the URL endpoint.microsoft.com. On home page, click on Devices. Under Policy, click on Configuration Profiles. Click on Create Profile Plus icon. Select Windows 10 and later as a platform type. Click on drop down arrow and select Templates as a profile type. Under Template Name, click on Endpoint Protection. Click on Create. On the basic step, enter a descriptive name such as Taste Local Device Security Options. Optionally, enter a description for the policy and then select Next. On Configuration Settings page, click on Local Device Security Options. We can see all the settings related to device security options. Click on Accounts. Add new Microsoft Accounts policy setting prevents users from adding new Microsoft Accounts on this computer. This is the preferred option if we need to limit the use of Microsoft Accounts in our enterprise. Using Local Admin Account Security setting, we can configure whether the Local Administrator account is enabled or disabled. By default, the Administrator account is disabled on all Windows devices, but for security reasons, we want to rename it. And for that, we need to use Rename Admin Account setting. Renaming the well-known administrator account makes it slightly more difficult for unauthorized persons to guess this privileged username and password combination. So in the setting, we just need to type the new name of our local admin account. I'm going to type local admin. This is going to be the new name for the built-in administrator account. We also want to rename the guest account. So in the box, type the new name for the guest account. In my case, I'm going to specify name visitor account. So you can specify the name as you like. Click on devices. Under devices, we have total four policy setting. We are not going to configure any device related policies. If you want to know more about the specific policy, take your pointer over here and click on Learn More link. This will open a new web page about Local Policy Security Options CSP. On this page, you can get detailed information about each policy settings. Let me close this. Click on Interactive Logon. The first setting is about the screen saver. We can define the time limit of inactivity on the desktop's login screen until the screen saver runs. Windows keep track of inactivity of a logon session and if the amount of inactive time exceeds the inactivity limit, then the screen saver will run, locking the session. Earlier, we have created a dedicated video on how to configure automatic lock screen for inactive device using Intune. But for screen saver, you can also use this method as well. Here, I'm going to type value 2 minutes. Let's enable require 
control or to delete key combination to log on so now users need to press control alt delete key combination before they can enter their username and password using this setting we can define what to display on login screen when device is logged from the drop down select do not display user information option to hide user information from the lock screen let me select do not display user information we also want to hide the username of the last person who sign in on the computer if this policy is enabled the username will not be shown if you configure login message policy you will break the autopilot pre provisioning build process it is listed in the policy conflict page as the known policies to break the pre provisioning process so we are not going to configure it next click on recovery console and shutdown if we set shutdown without logon setting to block the option to shut down the computer does not appear on the windows logon screen users must log on to the computer successfully and have to shut down the system user right before they can perform a system shutdown for the testing purpose i think these settings are enough you can configure these settings as per your organization's requirement here i'm going to click on next on assignments page under included groups click on add groups and then from the list choose the groups to target we have created one test device group named test client 02 so from the list select test client 02 group click on select and click on next to continue on applicability rule tab specify rule on how to apply this profile within an assigned group we are not going to define it so i'm going to click on next review the settings which we have configured for the device configuration profile click on create and wait for the confirmation message we can see the confirmation message profile created successfully click on refresh we can see the updated profile list with newly created device configuration profile the policy will start to apply to devices during the next intune check in now to test the result let's go to our test windows 10 device we are on a login screen of this test windows 10 device as we can see user does not require control alt delete key combination second we can see the username of the last person who sign in on this windows 10 device and third we can see the shutdown button on the login screen now let's sign into this windows 10 device uh, let me lock this windows 10 device as well click on lock okay let's click here at lock screen we can also see the username let's uh, sign in again and perform the manual sync to intune click on info and click on sync let's wait for the sync process to finish okay the sync was successful uh, let's restart the windows 10 device at login screen now we need to press control alt delete key combination to get the login screen so let me press control alt delete key combination the last login name is not available on login screen instead we can see other username and here we need to manually type the username and password to sign in let's type user1 at msfsuratv2.onmicrosoft.com and now type the user password and hit enter key okay now let's uh, lock this computer okay again we need to press control alt delete key combination to unlock 
we can confirm that username is also not displaying on lock screen. Instead of username, we can see unlock the PC is displaying. So here we also need to type the username and password. After entering the username password, press enter key to sign in. Next, I'm going to open computer management. Click on local users and double click on users. The built-in administrator account is renamed to local admin and guest account is renamed to visitor account. So both account has been renamed successfully. Let me close computer management snap-in. Now search for screen saver. Click on change screen saver. Confirm. 2 minutes time limit in screen saver. Let's sign out from this Windows 10 device. Press Ctrl or delete key combination to unlock a device and check for shutdown button. The shutdown button is now not available on login screen. To shut down this Windows 10 device, user need to sign in successfully and if user has permission to shut down the system, then user can shut down the system. It is safe to say that all the configured local device security settings are applied successfully on our test Windows 10 device. We can also confirm it from Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center. Let's go back to Intune Portal. Click on Refresh. Click on Profile Name, Local Device Security Options. Click on View Report. We can see a Windows 10 device with success check-in status. This confirms that the profile is successfully applied on a Windows 10 device. That's all for this video on how to configure local device security options using Microsoft Intune. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.